Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Isabel and today I'm going to go over the reasons why you should be declining coffee dates, let's go for drinks dates, lunch dates, and even long phone conversations. So let's get into it because I have a lot to cover in this video. So ladies, as normal, I have my notebook here and we are just going to get all of this out because I am so tired of women accepting these low ball offers. Now the reason why I felt the need to make this video is that I came across a video on YouTube by a woman who is a self-proclaimed unattractive woman. I personally don't think she's an unattractive woman, but that's what she feels about herself and I think her audience also feel that way about themselves. And in this video, she said that these women should be accepting the coffee date. And that to me was completely unacceptable because like I said, her audience is full of women who are pretty much insecure, who are vulnerable, and you're telling them to accept a low ball offer. Now, you know, I will never tell you to lowball yourself and just accept whatever comes to you. That is not what I teach in princess dating. I always let you ladies know that whatever it is that you feel you truly deserve and that you truly want, that is what you accept. You never accept the bare minimum. And that advice to women who are so insecure, because let's be honest, it's 2022 there is no way that anybody can really walk around unattractive without them purposely trying to be unattractive because there's makeup there's hair there's you know all these tutorials there's you know if your fitness is not there there's workout plans there's you know fashion stylist if you need your fashion to get together you can get plastic surgery if that's something that you need there's so many avenues to go about it that will make you attractive and it's fairly not that expensive i know you can go the clear expensive route but there are affordable ways to make yourself look more attractive so anybody who feels you know i'm not attractive enough i'm not this enough just know that you're just you know projecting that on yourself and whatever you keep on thinking of yourself is what you're going to manifest so you need to do some inner work and really find the value within you and so that can shine out of you so i really think that that's horrible horrible, horrible uh, advice to these kinds of women because I know women who are in relationships and they're very insecure with their looks and their partner really are terrible to them because they know how insecure the woman is. So please do not fall victim to just thinking that it's okay to accept the bare minimum from any guy just because you don't feel 100% confident in yourself. Work on yourself before you start dating because that is just a recipe for disaster. That's what I got to say about that. But I want to get into exactly what she said. She said that you should be going on these coffee dates because the date is basically to get to know the person. Now, I somewhat disagree with that, right? I don't think that coffee is a great setting to get to know somebody, especially someone you do not know. That to me is the wrong way to get to know anybody because it makes things very awkward. Now, I don't want to just have my own point of view, so I went and asked the closest man to me, which is my partner, and I asked him, would he offer any woman to go on a coffee date? Now, for him, because the way his personality is, he's like, well, is it for business or friendship? Because that's the only reason why I would, you know, take anybody to coffee is that I need to speak 
to them specifically about like a business deal or we need to have a real conversation about something and you know it's a serious setting that you know I just got to get straight to the point too or we're friends and we're just going to get coffee real fast and I was like no it's a actual dating setting would you offer as a first date to go for coffee and he flat out said no and the reason why he said no is because he would not shoot himself in the foot if he's really interested in a woman he's going to go all out and you know show up the way he wants to show up which is as a confident you know guy who goes after what it is that he wants and he thinks that setting the bar so low and coming in like that makes a man look you know not as confident a little insecure on his part and wouldn't make him have the energy he would want to have especially when you're first meeting a woman you want he would want to show up strong provider masculine energy that women tend to find attractive so for him that was a big no-no and I had to ask him why he thought that some men may go about dating this way and his answer was a little naive to me um, I say it's naive because I don't think men um, may think this way I mean I could be wrong he's a man and he told me this is how it is but he thought that maybe the guy doesn't feel confident enough to ask her for dinner and he would offer coffee or drinks or even lunch because and lunch thing threw me because I didn't even know this lunch idea but he said lunch um because they don't feel like the woman would accept going out with them on dinner and spending you know a lot of time with them and that maybe she would most likely accept coffee because it's a shorter amount of time now I thought that was naive because I was like oh mm. I don't think it's there. I think it's because of a financial thing, but he doesn't think that way because he's not thinking like financially, I got to pay for this woman or whatever, stuff like that. Because for him, you know, he has no problem paying for people's meals. That's the least, you know, he could do. So that is just his way of thinking that, okay, why wouldn't you? Maybe he's just not confident. And I just was like, all right, well, <laughs> you know, that's his explanation. But for me, I personally think that it shows, especially on the man's part, that there's a lack of effort there and there's actually a lack of interest there. Now, for me, I don't think that any guy who seriously wants to be with you or get to know you so he can be with you is going to give you such a low ball offer it's actually insulting right that's an insulting offer to say let's go for coffee first of all i don't even drink coffee so i would be what going for tea which is you know <laughs> i'm not gonna go have tea with you unless we're going to like a very nice like tea spot and I would probably do that with myself not on the first date with you so I would never um accept a tea date right but let's just say coffee because that's what's been going on coffee right and the reason why that's a low offer is because if you're practicing princess dating that's what i teach for women to be practicing is dating in your goddess energy in your princess energy so then that way you can receive the experience that you really want to receive in your dating experiences if you're princess dating there is no way i'm going to show up to a coffee date looking as good as i'm gonna look and be happy because if I'm going to date you, I'm going to have to see the effort that you put into actually planning the date. Where are you going to take me? You know, what are we going to do? Is it going to be a good time? And I think it's very weird to just offer coffee. So another argument that was put on why you should uh, take the coffee date is if we're here to get to know each other, then why do we need, you know, all the dinner? Can't we just sit and talk to each other? And I thought, no, we can't just sit and talk to each other. 
I don't know you. So I'm not going to sit here over a hot cup of coffee and divulge to you all my secrets. You ladies know that I tell you in princess dating, don't tell these guys your secrets. Don't let them know every single thing about you. Now, what do you think you're gonna do if all you have is coffee in front of you and you know, empty space? You're gonna talk about your secrets. You're gonna tell them about your childhood, your ex-boyfriend, all these things. You're just gonna let it come out because that is, what else are you gonna do there? It's just coffee. I mean, last time I checked, coffee houses don't have music playing. There's no waitress coming in to be a buffer. There's no real menu to look at. There's not like a huge ambiance going on. There's no low light. So it's basically you in front of this person, right? So. Why would I set myself up to have an awkward date with you where I'm just sitting in front of you and now I'm just telling you all of my business? That's why it's only good for friendships where you know you're just having coffee casually and talking and business meetings because you just have the coffee there but you're actually working on something else together so that's the reason why i think that you know that way of doing it where you're getting to know someone is ridiculous and if you're on a first date with someone you're not necessarily trying to get to know everything about them you're checking a vibe you want to see how they communicate with the waitress what they order how they if they're going to order for you how they may be receptive to you in the way that you order um just the ambience how you look together in a public setting how you act in a public setting how you treat the waitress so those are the reasons why going out on a proper date is how you should do it because you need to check the vibe not sit down with the person and just spill all your beans to them you know that to me is a ridiculous way of going about it and it actually wastes time but I'll let you know how I feel about that specifically of wasting time in the other part of this but specifically going for coffee is literally for you to just spill your beans to the guy and I never think that's acceptable. Also, that is very, very cheap. Now, if a guy is going to offer you coffee, he's paying tops $5 for your coffee, right? Coffee isn't expensive. Like I said, I drink tea, so $2, right? That's not expensive. Not saying he has to spend $500 every time you guys go out to dinner, but I'm saying that if he's not spending, say, $50 for your meal and drinks or something like that for the first date, then ooh, where are we going with this? Because you spend so much money to go on the date. I'm pretty sure your makeup, your hair is done. That's money. You probably bought a new dress. You probably bought a, some new shoes or you're wearing something that is expensive. You probably got a wax or something like that. So you invest in yourself to look and show up a certain way only for him to just give you a $5 cup of coffee. Makes no sense the math ain't mathing and that's why i need you ladies to know you are worth more than just coffee you're worth more than dinner so don't even get me started on there but you're even worth more than dinner but the proper guy the guy who's actually the king like i like to say he knows that you're worth more than dinner he's not going to you know give you dinner and expect you know anything from you from that he's doing that because he appreciates you taking the time you showing up with you looking beautiful i know uh with my sister she had uh went on a date before and the guy had told her okay we're gonna go on a date here right and he didn't never saw her in person but he wanted to take her on a date so he said, okay, we're going to this place uh, for dinner and you know, that's where we're going. And she looked at the menu and she was like, okay, this is like a basic place or whatever. Nothing really that she eats on the menu, but she was like, all right, cool, whatever. Let's just go and see how it goes. When he saw her in person, he was like, okay, so we're going to this place instead. And he brought her to like this really nice resort and this really expensive restaurant and like took her on a very beautiful, expensive, lavish 
luxurious date. And he said that once he saw her and he thought if she wasn't that good looking like her photos, he was gonna take her to the basic place, right? And if she looked like her photos are better, he was gonna take her to the lavish place. And of course she looked better than her photo. She's absolutely gorgeous. And he was like, I'm definitely taking you to the lavish place. So that's the thing. If you're a beautiful woman, which I'm saying all women can look attractive, all women have that option, he's going to really want to take you to the most beautiful place he wants to show you off he wants to show that he can be with a woman like you so why would he bring you to the coffee house right that to me is unacceptable and doesn't even make sense for the kind of guy we're trying to date now if you're just dating any dusty guy then that's the experience you're gonna get but if you're truly dating how i suggest to date with princess dating that's not even something that you would accept and if anybody comes with you with that offer clearly say i don't drink coffee i don't care if you do say i don't drink coffee but you can take me to dinner though that's what you say and then if he says oh well here's a million one excuses let go of him now moving away from coffee i want to talk about drinks now i find the drinks thing even more insulting than coffee now i know drinks are a lot more expensive than coffee but to me why would someone and this is me thinking like a a, a true person who's thinking why would someone offer you to go drinking without food when we all know if you're drinking on an empty stomach, you're going to get drunk. Now, that right there is disrespectful to me because I don't think if the man is truly interested in your well being and even in your safety, that he would want you to get drunk. I don't get that. If there are drinks, there should be dinner involved period there is no way that you should be accepting going drinking like that we're, we're not you know kids in college drinking you know just to drink that is insane to me i personally don't even drink anymore so i would never uh accept drinks right but even when i was drinking i never was big on drinking so i'm like i don't drink you want to take me to dinner because why would i go drinking with you that is going to lead me to make decisions i probably would never make how am i going to get home from drinking right so that is the thing if i'm drunk i can't drive home so that leads for you to now say sleep over my place i'm just down the road let's take a uber together right let's go to my place and you can just you know sober up there and then who knows what's gonna happen at his place. So I think that any guy who's just offering drinks, you need to side eye him because really, why are we having drinks? And if they say, well, you can have dinner before and let's just have drinks, it's a no. You either feed me and then if I want drinks, I order drinks or there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. It's truly truly disrespectful to me that somebody would offer that and ladies please do not accept drinks like i said turn it and say i don't drink i would like dinner if he says you know he can't do dinner drop him you don't need to be dealing with him anyways because that to me is just ridiculous now i want to touch on the lunch thing because i personally <laughs> didn't think that this was the thing but my partner said yeah lunch is like coffee to him he would not offer it lunch and the reason why lunch i now understand lunch isn't really it is because one lunch isn't that expensive we all know lunch is pretty much lunch you know you get lunch prices you get lunch deals it's not that deep lunch there's basically no ambiance it's just lunch it's kind of just eating and you're going to be talking to the person there's nothing really going on you can't really dress up for lunch lunch is very casual so on the first date do you want to be super casual or do you want to show up like looking really good so lunch is just a very casual thing you know brunch on the other hand 
is not so casual, right? Because people go to brunch and dress up for brunch. Brunch sometimes has music, DJs. Brunch is a vibe, right? Brunch is different. But lunch is like during the week and kind of... Mm. Now, I will say... <laughs> Because this is for the girlies who, you know, do the sugar dating and all that stuff. Lunch is great for that. Lunch is great to be with a guy who, you know, you necess don't necessarily want to be seen in public with. But if you're dating for marriage and stuff like that, that's not necessarily something you're worried about because obviously you want to be seen in public with this person and see how you guys interact. But if you're not there for that and you're there for like I said sugar or something like that you can do lunch you know it's the perfect setting right quick and easy nobody's really out there you're able to just get your lunch get your coin and move on so just wanted to put that out there on why lunch may just be not the way you want to start off dating someone if you're serious about dating someone so no to lunch now let's get into the big one and this one is something that i 100 percent believe in and highly highly suggest women not to do or get caught up in and that's long conversations on the phone you should never do this now i have tried this before I have family and friends who've done this before and I've never seen it work out. The guy that you sit and talk to for hours on end on the phone is not the guy you ever end up with. Now, there are exceptions to the rule, but in reality, that is the cheapest date that he can ever take you on because what are you doing on the phone? You're telling your business, you're just talking about everything about yourself and what else is there to know about you. You've literally opened the floodgates to every single thing that's going on in your life. So I really don't think long conversations are acceptable, especially if you have the capability of seeing the person in person. And it's kind of like, okay, why are we doing this? Why can't we just meet up? Why can't we, you know, see each other? And that to me is just a waste of time. Now, I know like some people are going to do it because they want to get to know the person before they go out with them. That to me, waste of time. I want to see you in person because if you're going, say, for a job, right, and they're having an interview, they may have one phone interview that will briefly touch on what it is that you do, get an idea of what's going on with you, and then they'll see if they want to move forward with you. They're not going to sit there for hours or go through the full interview with you over the phone. They're going to say, come in person, let's see each other, right? And, you know, people were doing Zoom meetings and stuff like that, and then that would be deeper. But if you're doing phone conversations that's lasting hours and hours, and this person knows you from east to west, knows everything about you, what is left for them to, to, to know about you? What is left for them to discover about you? Nothing, because what else are you gonna be doing on the phone other than telling your business? So ladies, do not do this. Do not fall victim to the phone, please. It's not cute. It's actually very cheap of him. He knows it's cheap. And like I said, most of these guys will not even live up to the idea you had of them while talking to them on the phone. If you are going to talk to them on the phone, say in the beginning, just to set things up, keep it very brief, no longer than five minutes, just set the date up and move forward. One thing that I appreciated with my partner is that he did not like waste time on the phone with me. He just was like, okay, when are you available? Okay, let's set it for this day. And you know, that's the date and pick you up. Let's go from there. That was the, the conversation. <laughs> like, and then every day leading up to there, you know, he would check in through text message, but he wasn't like calling me, calling me, calling me, you know, let's have these deep conversations. He was like, I'm going to see you in person. And then I'll get to know, you know, 
what I need to know about you and we'll get to talk and feel each other's vibe. He's seen no use and just sitting on the phone with me for hours and he doesn't have the time to do that. So he was never gonna do that anyways. And even now, like we talk on the phone sometimes, but like we see each other, we're with each other so much, there's no reason to talk on the phone as much. So I think that that's important that you really think about like, why am I talking to this person on the phone this long? Like, why can't I just go and see them? Why aren't they not trying to come see me? What is the holdup? And and why do I need to tell them anything or talk to them anyway without meeting them in person? I think women need to, you know, trust that they need to feel things out, right? We're women, we're divine feminine women. We need to feel our way through things sometimes. And a relationship or partnership with someone, you need to feel the vibe. You can't feel that through the phone. You just can't. You can kind of hear some things, but you need to be around them. You need to see how they interact with the world. He needs to see that too. So please don't fall victim to the phone scam don't sit there having these long these long phone conversations that lead absolutely nowhere don't do it all right well that's all i have for you ladies today i hope that you found some value in it and if you did please share it with your friends and family because i know so many women out there may find this helpful as well and if you like videos like this and want to see more please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and please subscribe to the channel i would love to have you here as we continue to go deeper into our feminine goddess energy all right, ladies, I will see you in the next video.